Good day everyone, I am Kate Lorraine T. Canuma and I am here today to show you my return demonstration in performing the perineal flushing. Perineal flushing is a hygienic care that involves cleaning the perineum and the genitalia. Washing these areas properly is very important to prevent infection, bacteria, odors, and irritation. Hence, perineal flushing is done mostly to those patients who are bedridden, patients dealing with incontinence, and those who have an indwelling catheter. So prior to the conduct of the procedure, I have prepared the necessary equipment needed to conserve time and energy. So I have here a bedpan, seven pieces of dry cotton balls, seven pieces of cotton ball soaked with antiseptic solution, an extra cotton ball for cleaning the buttocks, perineal pad, sterile gloves, kidney basin, sterile forceps, and lastly, a pitcher with sterile warm water. So before I begin, I am going to perform thorough hand washing to deter the spread of pathogenic microorganisms. Alright, so now that I'm done performing thorough hand washing, I am now going to identify the patient using agency protocol and I'm going to explain the treatment to the patient and how she can participate during the procedure. So this is done to elicit cooperation and understanding from the patient. And also I'm going to screen the patient or lock the door of the patient's room to provide comfort and of course privacy to our patient. Good day, ma'am. I am Kate Lorraine T. Canuma, your student nurse for today from Davao Doctors College. May I see your wristband, please? Can you state your name, ma'am? How about your birthday? And how would you like me to call you? Alright. So, ma'am, today I'll be doing a perineal flushing, which means I'm going to wash your genital area from any vaginal discharge to prevent infection and contamination. And also, ma'am, I would like you to be informed that during the procedure, I am going to expose your genital area. Would that be alright with you, ma'am? Alright, so do you have any questions or clarifications before we proceed, ma'am? Okay, so ma'am, is it okay if I close the doors and curtains for me to provide you with some privacy and away from disturbances? Okay, thank you. Okay. So now I'm going to wear my gloves to protect myself and of course my patient from cross-contamination. So now I'm going to position the patient in a dorsal recumbent with her knees flexed. So this is done to provide a good visualization of the areas to be cleansed. Okay, so ma'am, I need you to flex your knee. Okay, so I'm going to help you with that. Alright, so now drape the patient using 
bath blanket and expose only the areas to be cleansed. So this is done since minimal exposure lessens the embarrassment and of course it will provide comfort to the patient. Okay, so now I'm going to remove your top sheet. Okay. okay, now I'm going to place this pad underneath your buttocks. So can you please turn to your side? Okay. Okay, and then to my side. So I'm going to adjust it. Okay. So now I'm going to place the bedpan over the patient. So this will help us avoid the bed from becoming soiled. Okay. So ma'am, I'm going to place this bedpan. So I need you to lift your buttocks for a second. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to place the bath blanket. Next, I'm going to place this bath blanket over you, okay? I'm going to adjust this. So now, ma'am, I'm going to expose now your genital area, okay? Alright? So always remember to expose only the areas to be cleansed and cover those areas not to be cleansed. Okay? So now inspect the perineum and flush the perineal area with warm water. So warm water is used to dissolve blood clots and it, it will help us prevent our patient from having chills okay so ma'am i'm now going to pour this warm water into your genital area okay all right i'm going to pour this now ma'am all right so while we are doing this we are also inspecting and noting for any particular areas of inflammation swelling excessive discharge secretions from the orifice, and also presence of odors. So for inspecting, there is no discharges or secretions or any odors present in the genital area of the patient. Okay, so now we're going to get the cotton ball soak with antiseptic solution with pickup forceps to maintain its sterility. So we're going to start cleaning at the external genitalia from the midline of the symphysis pubis down towards the Anus. So always remember to never trace a stroke to avoid contaminating the area. Therefore, we're going to discard each cotton ball to the receptacle every after application. And also, we're going to clean first the area farthest from us to avoid contaminating the rest of the area. Since I am in the right side of the client, so I'm going to clean first the left side of the client okay so i'm going to get the pickup forceps and i'm going to get the cotton ball okay so i'm going to start cleaning now from the midline of the symphysis pubis down towards the anus and then discard so now we're going to pick up our second cotton ball and we're going to start cleaning at the mons pubis in a figure of seven by way of internal labium towards the anus and then discard. So when we say internal labium, it is the labia minora, which is the smaller lip of the vagina. So secretions that tend to collect in the labia minora facilitates bacterial growth. Okay? 
also from the Mons Pubis, figure of seven, down towards the labia minora, down towards the anus, and then discard. And then do likewise on the other side using another cotton ball. So Mons Pubis, figure of seven, down towards the labia minora, towards the anus, and then discard. Okay? So now for the fourth cotton ball, we're going to start leaning at the Mons Pubis in a figure of seven by way of external labium towards the anus and then discard it. So when we say external labium, it is the labia majora, which is the larger lip of the vagina. Okay? So from the Mons Pubis, figure of seven down towards the labia majora towards the anus and then discard. And do likewise on the other side using another cotton ball. Mons pubis, figure of seven, down towards the labia majora, and then discard. Okay? So now, we're going to get another cotton ball, and then we're going to clean the groin. So we're going to start cleaning the groin, going up to the thigh using a zigzag pattern. So this will help us prevent retracing a stroke. So, from the groin towards the thigh using a zigzag pattern and then discard. And then instead of using the same cotton ball, we're going to use the seventh cotton ball to help us avoid possible contamination and infection. From the groin towards the thigh using a zigzag pattern and then discard. Okay. So now that we are done cleansing the perineal area of the patient, I am now going to flush the perineal area thoroughly with sterile warm water. Okay? So ma'am, I'm now going to rinse your genital area with sterile warm water, okay? All right. Okay, so now using the seven dry cotton balls, we're going to dry the perineal area of the patient using the same stroke as we did earlier since moisture supports the growth of many microorganisms. Okay, so again, we're, I'm going to use another sterile forceps in picking up dry cotton balls, okay? I'm going to start drying from the midline of the symphysis pubis towards the anus and then discard. And for the labia minora, I'm going to start drying at the mons pubis, figure of seven, down towards the labia minora, towards the anus, and then discard. And do likewise on the other side using another cotton ball. Once pubis, figure of seven, down to the labia minora, towards the anus, and then discard. And for the labia majora, I'm going to get the fourth cotton ball, and I'm going to start drying from the once pubis, figure of seven, down to the labia majora, towards the anus, and then discard. And do likewise on the other side. Mons pubis, figure of seven, down towards the labia majora, towards the anus, and then discard. And for the groin, I'm going to get another cotton ball. And I'm going to start cleaning the groin towards the thigh using zigzag pattern. And then discard. And do likewise on the other side. And again, instead of using the same cotton ball as I have used in the left side of the client, I'm going to use the seventh right cotton ball to avoid possible contamination and infection. Okay? So, groin towards the thigh using zigzag pattern. And then, discard. Okay? Since 
We are now done cleansing and rinsing the genital area of the patient. I am now going to remove the bedpan gently and place the patient on her side. Okay? So, ma'am, we are now done. I'm now going to get the bedpan. I'm going to remove the bedpan and I need you to lift your buttock just for a second. Okay? Alright, thank you. So now, as necessary, we're going to get another cotton ball and we're going to clean one side of the patient's buttocks and proceed in cleaning the other side of the patient's buttocks and then dry both bottoms to promote comfort, okay? So ma'am, what I would like you to do now is to turn to your side so that I can clean your buttocks, okay? Alright, so I'm going to cover your genital here first. Then you can turn to your side. Okay, and I'm going to get this one. And I'm going to start cleaning the patient's buttock. So I'm going to get the forcep that I use in picking up the cotton ball soak in antiseptic solution. Okay. And I'm going to use a zigzag pattern in cleaning the patient's buttocks. So again, this will help us to avoid retracing a stroke. Okay, and then discard. And do likewise on the other side using another cotton ball. And then discard. And then for drying the patient's buttocks, I'm going to use another pickup forceps that I use in picking up the dry cotton ball. And I'm going to start drying the patient's buttocks. And then discard. And then do likewise on the other side, and then discard. Okay? So now we're going to help the patient to turn on her back. And then, we will make her comfortable. So, this will help us um, promote relaxation. Okay? So, ma'am, you can now turn to your back. So, I'm going to get this first. Okay? So, now I'm going to spray an antiseptic solution on the patient's genital area to promote healing. Okay? So, ma'am, I'm going to spray an antiseptic solution on your genital area, okay? Alright, so I'm going to expose your genital area again. And I'm going to spray now the antiseptic solution, ma'am, okay? Okay. And now place the perineal pad in up-down motion as needed to avoid contaminating the vagina and urethra from the anal area. Okay? So ma'am, I'm going to use this one. Right? I'm going to remove the package. Okay, ma'am, so now that you are done, you can now relax your legs. Okay, so you can now relax your legs, ma'am. Okay, so now that we are done, I am now going to remove the bath blanket. Okay. And I'm going to place it on the medical hamper. And 
I'm going to place this on the medical hamper. And ma'am, I'm going to remove this pad underneath you. So, can you please turn to my side? Okay. And then to the other side, ma'am. And I'm going to place this on the medical hamper. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to cover the patient on her blanket to for the patient to be feel comfortable. Okay, so ma'am, we are now done. So I'm going to cover you up with your blanket. Okay, so ma'am, how was your feeling? Alright, so that's good to hear. Alright, so ma'am, since you're now done here, I'm now going to head out for you to have some rest. And if you need anything else, just don't um, just don't hesitate to press the button on your right side, okay? Alright, so do you have any questions, ma'am, or clarifications or any concerns before I proceed? Alright, that's great. So thank you for your cooperation, ma'am, and have a nice day ahead. Alright. So now I'm going to perform the aftercare of the equipment. I'm going to remove my gloves and perform proper hand washing to deter the spread of pathogenic microorganisms. Alright, so now that I'm done performing the aftercare of the equipment and hand washing, I am now going to document or record the treatment done to the patient and discharges observed. So this is done for documentary purposes and for a means of communication. So that's it for my return demonstration. I am Kate Lorraine Tika Numai. Thank you for watching.